Good morning, Zion. If it's me, it must be Monday. Today I have a, a prayer partner with me again today. Nora's here Hello. to help us with morning prayer. Um, this morning is Monday, July 22nd, and it's the celebration of St. Mary Magdalene. And I'm sure that I don't need to explain Mary Magdalene, but sometimes it's nice to, to just remind ourselves of of those great people of the Bible. So Mary Magdalene was a woman who, according to the four canonical gospels, traveled with Jesus as one of his followers and was a witness to his crucifixion and resurrection. She is mentioned by name 12 times in the canonical gospels, more than most of the apostles and more than any other woman in the gospels other than Jesus's family. Mary's epithet, Magdalene, may have been a toponymic surname, meaning that she came from the town of Magdala, a fishing town on the western shore of the Sea of Galilee in Roman Judea. What a wonderful woman she was. All right, we'll have a prayer for Mary Magdalene um, near the very end of morning prayer today. Our appointed psalm today is Psalm 116. And we have two readings today because it's a special saint day. So we'll get into those in a minute. All right. Please join us for another morning of morning prayer. Uh, page 80 in your book of common prayer. Write two. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought very low and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well and you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I said, I have been brought very low. In my distress, I said, no one can be trusted. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord. In the presence of all his people, precious is the sight of the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. Our Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. I have freed, you have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first letter, the first lesson is a reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 through 20. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice 
over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing on a, as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressions at that time. And I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you home. At the time when I gather you. For I will make you renowned and praised among all the people of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your eyes says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his only prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in, in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is a reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Chapter 15, verse 47, through chapter 16, verse 7. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of, jo of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. Yet you, Christ, are the King of glory the eternal son of the father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. <clears throat> we are back on page 96 for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Not the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose blessed Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of body and of mind, and called her to be a witness of his resurrection, mercifully grant that by your grace we may be healed from all our infirmities and know you in the power of his unending life, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns, lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us here on another Monday. Have a great week.